For more on those talks today, though, let's bring in France 24 senior reporter Catherine Norris Trent, who's at the Elysee Presidential Palace. Catherine, first of all, talk us through the focus of these meetings today. Are they just trying to find a way out? Hi there, Jeannie. That's right. Emmanuel Macron is trying to forge a way forward because things are still at loggerheads here in France over this highly controversial pensions reform, which has now passed Parliament, albeit rammed through using that constitutional tool, the 49-3. Um, and we saw the violence and the anger on the streets of France last week. So today, here at the Elysee Palace, Emmanuel Macron will be hosting his Prime Minister, Elisabeth Bourne, and members of his own party, ministers and leading figures in Parliament, to try and look at an action plan to see what they can do to go forward and, and get out of this crisis, really, in French politics. Um, it's hard, though, to know what their action plan can do to appease France's trade unions and those protest movements who say that they do not intend on backing down. And Emmanuel Macron has sig signalled in the past that he doesn't want to back down on these pension plans to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64. Some are suggesting in the opposition that the plan should be put on hold for maybe six months or something to look at ways in which they could be watered down to try and bring people on board. But they're already going through a constitutional process. They're already in the Constitutional Council. And basically, Emmanuel Macron would just need to sign them off for them to become law. So it's tricky to see what, at this stage, the president and the government can do to calm the anger of protesters. But that's what they're going to be talking about this afternoon. Right. And in the meantime, Catherine, the anger is still very prevalent. Uh, protesters have blocked the Louvre Museum today in Paris. The piles of garbage just keep getting bigger. And it's not over yet. It is not over yet by any means. The Louvre Museum, the world famous museum, is actually closed right now, blocked by protesting workers there. So anyone who's got tickets, um, the moment it looks like that is closed today. There is still litter, garbage lining the streets of Paris, despite government orders uh, for those refuse workers to come and collect it. It's basically not being cleared or not on a massive scale yet because a lot of the waste processing plants, the incinerators around the edge of Paris, some of those are still blocked by strikers too. So it's not able to be gotten off the streets. And there are other blockages in other towns down in Nice in the south of France. Over the weekend in the west of France, there were extremely violent scenes with environmental protesters standing off against riot police, which is also a sign of this anger that's still simmering here in France. And, of course, tomorrow, the 28th of March, there's another a tenth massive day of strikes and protests called across France, and everyone really is bracing for further violent scenes and confrontations there. Catherine, thank you for that. France 24's Catherine Norris-Trent.